Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to compile the latest version of OpenSys that is OpenSys 3.6.0. This is our second video tutorial in this uh, compilation series. Previously we have compiled uh, OpenSys 3.5.0 in our first video tutorial. Here in this video tutorial you will find all the detailed instructions to compile uh, OpenSys 3.5.0. Now in this tutorial we are going to compile uh, this version OpenSys 3.6.0. This was uh, released in uh, January 2024. Before we dive deep into today's tutorial, I have a small request. Behind every video, we do a lot of hard work to give you best content. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. Your subscription means a lot to us and it really motivates us to create more useful tutorials like this. Let's dive into today's tutorial. Let's download the source code that corresponds to this uh, version 3.6.0 that is here. Download this uh, source code zip file. Save it somewhere in your uh, local. Yes, download is done. Let's open the directory. Here it is. Just unzip it. Yes, all files are extracted. Let's open this directory. So we have all files that corresponds to this uh, OpenSys 3.6.0 are here. In order to compile this latest version, you need uh, some prerequisites. So you need to have some software installations that needs to be done before going ahead with this compilation process. Softwares in the sense you need uh, Visual Studio 2022, Intel Fortran compiler and uh, Active TCL, Anaconda Python 3.10 version. So I have explained about uh, all these tools and their detailed installation process in uh, my earlier video that is on the compilation of OpenSys 3.5.0. Please go ahead with this uh, prerequisite software installation section. So just this particular part and uh, get all these tools installed in your uh, local machine and then start compiling this uh, OpenSys 3.6.0. Now in my local machine, I have installed uh, all these uh, softwares. So now I'm directly going ahead with this compilation process. Open this uh, Win64 directory. Within that, you will see this uh, opensys.sln file. Open this uh, .sln file with uh, Visual Studio 2022. And uh, review solution actions. So just uh, upgrade to the latest tool set. When you first open this project, you will see this actor as the main project. Just change this uh, actor to OpenSys as the startup project. Just right click it and uh, set this uh, set as startup project. And uh, once you do this, and we will do some initial build. Let's see if we get any errors. If we do not get any errors, then that's fine. If we get any errors, then we have to resolve those errors. It will take a while to get this uh, first build uh, completion. Build is completed. So we have got uh, 22 projects succeeded and uh, six project failed. So let's see what are these uh, six failed projects. So it seems like OpenSys, OpenSys TK are the main things. So, and uh, these errors, global namespace errors are due mainly due to this uh, release configuration. Just update this to release. And uh, when you update this to release, you have to make some settings in the project to make debugging possible in a release configuration. So for that, we need to make these settings. So I will provide the link of this Microsoft web page in the video description. So please make these changes in your local Visual Studio. C, C++ node set debug information format to C7 compatible, that is G7. apply and press ok for now i kept these two windows side by side our program database is also fine actually and then you have to set this linker to incremental no you have to open the properties and in the linker general to incremental no this is already set and within the debugging you have to set up this debugging info to yes generate debug info slash debug okay apply 
and then in the optimization mode you have to set up the references to opref yes and code mat to yes opt icf that's it done similarly done let's build this again five projects failed 23 succeeded let's see what are those so you have made this uh, reliability lib could not find four node tetrahedron and uh, opens his link dot h actor dot lib quick main actor open sys and open sys tk let's see if all uh, dependencies are uh, properly implemented or not so let's open this uh, open sys directory open sys properties and uh, in this linker see it is done it is done good and then open sys pi we have this one add it here apply and then in the quick main also add this uh, intel photon compiler file path and then apply let's do a quick build quick main project still failed zero succeeded five failed again in this this one is failed so here in the actor library this uh, four node tetrahedron is failed actually so we have to find out where this four node tetrahedron is copy this within the src go to four node tetrahedron element let's search for it four node tetrahedron is available in this file location so we have a tetrahedron element i'm just copying this file path and then adding this file path to actor so let's open this go to its c++ general edit this uh, file path come down come down add it here so you don't need to add all of these things you can put this relative file path before src because this absolute file paths are uh, not good not recommended so you can always use this relative file paths that's it and then click apply and then press okay and then let's build it again failed here now two succeeded three failed what is that so here actor lib and if console dot lib is not found this is mainly due to this library files are not available in open sys tk just open it check the properties and uh, go to linker and see if uh, here that uh, is not available so we have to put this uh, intel one api compiler link in this uh, open sys tk also previously i skipped let's add that here that's it let's rebuild it three succeeded zero failed so we are good now no errors so our open sys is successfully compiled let's rebuild it again so you see zero succeeded zero failed all 28 up to date so the main point is zero failed actually so it means your uh, compilation is successful now after the compilation is done if you go to this win64 bin directory you will see this opensys.exe file just double click it see you see this version 3.6.0 yeah that's it this is how we compile uh, the opensys 3.6.0 version if you are facing any problems with this compilation in your local machine or getting new errors so feel free to ask in the comment section if you like our content please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel 
happy learning thank you